Don't freak out whenever you see thirds like this, just remember, simplify the thirds before you do anything else. Looking at this expression, notice that this number here and this number here are perfect squares and so the square root of these numbers are going to be whole numbers. This number is easy, we know this is 9 times 2 where 9 is a perfect square factor. It's just going to be this one that's going to cause the problems. But if you know the perfect square numbers then you should be able to simplify this. But if you don't know those numbers then go to page 134 in the Algebra for Beginners book and learn these numbers because you're going to use them all the time. And so coming back to this, the square root of 49 we know is equal to 7 and so this is going to be 3 times 7. Then we've got plus 2 times, we're going to simplify the square root and write it as the square root of 144 times 2 because the biggest square factor that goes into 288 is 144. And then we've got minus the square root of 144, this is equal to 12, and then we've got minus 2 times, and we're going to write 18 as the square root of 9 times 2, where 9 is the biggest square factor. 3 times 7 is equal to 21, and then we've got the 12 here. And so combining this, this is going to be 21 minus 12, which is equal to 9. And then we've got plus 2. Now we're going to multiply this by the square root of 144, which is equal to 12, and then we've got the root 2. And then we've got minus 2 times, we're going to multiply this by the square root of 9, which is equal to 3, and then we've got root 2. Now we just have to clean up. This is going to equal 9 plus 2 times 12, this is 24, and then we've got the root 2, and then we've got minus 2 times 3, this is 6, and then we've got the root 2. From here we've got the root 2 and the root 2 that are matching, and so we can subtract these thirds, and so we're going to leave the 9 as it is, so we've got 9, and then we've got 24 minus 6, which is 18, and so this is going to be plus 18 times root 2.